बीच बाबा तो पान
भक्त बिंद के जाए जाए श्री राधे हरे कृष्णा वंस अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच डियर डिवोटीज फॉर काइंडली बींग प्रेजेंट हियर टूडे दिस इज द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन गॉड्स अनफुलफिल्ड डिजायर्स एंड डियर डिवोटीज वील ट्राई टू एक्सप्लोर फर्दर इन टू द डिसफैक्शन दैट श्री कृष्णा हैड and what can be done about it i'm very thankful once again to all the devotees who have kindly organized the bhakti immersion retreat in 2024 beginning with his holiness sachinandan swami maharaj gora hari prabhu mother vai jayanti all the other devotees who have kindly organized this retreat and also my sincere thanks to his holiness swayam bhagwan keshav maharaj for so wonderfully speaking today on so many relevant points for all of us in our devotional journey so dear devotees if you liked yesterday's talk by his holiness sachinandan swami maharaj if you liked today morning's talk by his holiness swayam bhagwan keshav maharaj dear devotees please say three loud hari bols hari hari bol hari bol and i should thank all of you especially uh, i've seen one thing in the devotees here that all of you are very enthusiastic about kirtan and dancing in kirtan <laughs> whereas i am like a flower on the wall sometimes when when the kirtan gets faster hmm? <laughs> dear devotees it is very encouraging for the person who sings kirtan when devotees start dancing in front of them and it is also very encouraging when devotees respond like all of you respond while singing kirtan it is my great good fortune to have such audience because many times i have been in a situation in my life and some of you might have been in that situation where you are singing hari krishna maha mantra you sing the entire mantra and you are waiting for the audience to respond but nobody responds <laughs> how many of us have been in that awkward situation <laughs> yeah many of us so once i was doing a program in mumbai and i sang the entire maha mantra and i was waiting that they will respond and nobody responded so i have to respond to my own call <laughs> so after 
the kirtan got over i told them dear devotees there is a difference between kirtan and mehfil you know what is mehfil <laughs> it's a persian word huh? when the moguls came to india they bought the concept of mehfil in a mehfil the king sits like this he has a you know and he sits like this chewing a pan and the singer sings and the king says wah <laughs> wonderful huh? and after the singer has sung then the king does farmaish request for another song all right <laughs> so this culture of mehfil and farmaish it came to india with the moguls chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to change that so he introduced kirtan so dear devotees in kirtan the responsibility of the success of kirtan is not only on the poor singer huh? <laughs> it is also on those who are responding so then they got some idea yeah this is what we are supposed to do <laughs> so thank you very much dear devotees for being so enthusiastic about kirtan especially last night we'll begin our presentation with mangala charan auspicious invocations most of us know these verses you can kindly sing along with me ओम ज्ञान तिमीरांध से ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाति स्वदाति वंदेहम श्रीगुरोश्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून्वैष्णवाश्चम सागर जात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद गणलिता श्री विशाखान्वीता नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेषा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातरिणे नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंशाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे शुल प्रभुपात की सहनावतु सहनऊ बुनक्तु सह वीर करवा भाई तेजस्वी नवदी तमस्तु माँ विद्विषा गुरहरी प्रभु on the first floor where you can be listening to the kata and children have some toys and can play also very happily so in case uh, uh, please feel free to go there so that everyone can listen nicely to the kata thank you
yes dear devotees bala nam rodanam balam children have one strength <laughs> that is crying <laughs> and that crying can overtake the entire assembly <laughs> dear devotees i am blessed to be here in this auspicious audience between all of you and it is vaishnav etiquette to offer some glorification to the audience who is so like minded dear devotees shri rupa goswami in his dramas lalita madhav vidagdha madhav he offers a verse of glorification to the audience this verse is in the meter shikharini kindly sing after me apashal gram plavanagar mudga rasarasa सुधिको वाकपी नमित मूर्धा न पिबते श्री रूप गोस्वामी सेज दट आई द स्पीकर इज वेरी इनसिग्निफिकेंट बट has been raised to the platform of significance <coughs> shri rupa goswami says i am as significant as apah water from an ordinary well because water from an ordinary well is not considered significant it is mainly used for washing dirty utensils people don't even drink it you have to filter it first but that same water apah shalagram aplavana when it comes in contact with a shalagram shila and it bathes a shalagram shila that same water gets immense importance sudhi kova and then which intelligent person will not respect that water dear devotees which has bathed the shalagram shila so my position is that of ordinary well water and all of you have the glory of a shalagram shila and only because of contact with all of you have i been given this seat of importance dear devotees <laughs> not otherwise alone in my home i'll sit on the floor dear devotees that is my position jai gopal prabhu kindly read the translation <laughs> may be very ordinary and insignificant yet it is immediately respected and consumed by learned people when they come to know that it has paid the most auspicious sarvam shila so thank you dear devotees for kindly being present here for kindly giving me the most important resource of your life the most important resource of your life is money <laughs> is time a person who gains on money loses his time and a person who gains time loses his money but between both of these one resource is non renewable you cannot get it again and what is that time and you are giving me that most important resource of your life for which i am thankful to each and every one of you we will begin with a statement by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shrila prabhupad shrila prabhupad says something in a letter to his disciple brahmananda prabhu 8 february 1968 the gopis and the radharani served krishna without any expectation of material or spiritual profit they never expected any return from krishna and krishna remained ever indebted to the gopis therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu exalted the worship method of the gopis and krishna and krishna when he tries to understand the heart of the gopis 
That is the transformation of Krishna into Lord Chaitanya. Dear devotees, the gopis served Shri Krishna without any expectation of material or spiritual profit. And since yesterday, I am making an attempt to set the mood that let us learn from the gopis on how to defeat Krishna at his own game. <coughs> because all he is looking for is what is your motivation. And the only way to defeat him is to make it clear to him that we have no personal motivation in all of this. That is the way to disarm Sri Krishna. Otherwise, if we have desires such as desire for liberation, desire that in the society I should be having a good name, desire that the society should give me a good spouse, beautiful one. But all these desires may be fulfilled. But then I'll not get what is the real purpose of coming to the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So the real purpose will be fulfilled after giving up all desires, including <coughs> desire for liberation. In the second verse of the Bhagavatam, it is said, Dharmaha Projita Kaita Votra. All cheating religion is rejected here in Srimad Bhagavatam. All cheating religion. In the commentary to that second verse of the Bhagavatam, Srila Sridhar Swami, the greatest Sanskrit commentator on Srimad Bhagavatam says, Mokshabhi Sandhirapi Nirastam. Even the desire for liberation is rejected here in Srimad Bhagavatam. It's right there in the second verse of Srimad Bhagavatam that the desire for liberation should be rejected by the devotees. Yesterday I was intrigued by the question that I was asked and I think it was Devashri Radhika Devi. Are you here? Oh yes, you are here. She asked about getting disgusted with the material world and what should we do and it sparked a discussion on you know what it means to be detached and I spoke that the devotee should neither be too attached to the world nor too detached from the world. Sri Rupa Goswami gives a severe warning in the Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu about over detachment. We would have expected over attachment, but Sri Rupa Goswami gives a warning about over detachment in Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu. Sri Rupa Goswami, Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu, Western Division, fifth wave, second verse. He is about to describe Madhurya Ras, but Rupa Goswami pauses before he starts describing and he says something. Please repeat after me. Nivrita Nupa Yogitva Duru Hatva Dayam Rasaha Ayam Rasaha This Madhurya Ras Duru Hatva It's very difficult to understand especially Anupayogitvat, it is useless, anupayogi, for nivrittas, those who are extremely detached from this world. Jai Gopal Prabhu, kindly read the translation. This Madhurya Ras is unfit to be banished by those who are too detached. Dear devotees, too detached doesn't mean we don't determine who is too detached by the color of their cloth. Somebody may be wearing white cloth. But within their minds, they may be seeing everything in the material world as disgusting. This has a name in Bhakti Ras literature. It is called Jugupsarati or Bibhatsaras, which means the Ras of uh, yeah, getting repudiated by something, disgusted by something. Rupa Goswami says this is the only Ras which cannot be directly connected to Shri Krishna. It has to be connected only to the material world. Because you cannot experience disgust in relationship with Shri Krishna. So those who are attached to Shantarati, Shantaras, they derive pleasure by critiquing the material world. 
and Rupa Goswami doesn't like that because camels derive pleasure by chewing on the thorns and then when their own blood comes out they consider it as rasa we have seen that verse so Rupa Goswami doesn't want us to be like that Sri Jiva Goswami explains in the commentary why the extremely detached are unfit and who are these extremely detached people he says nivritteshu amongst those who are very detached he says prakrita shringara rasa samadrishtya everywhere they see romantic affairs they consider it material <coughs> fit to be rejected bhagavatad api asmad rasad even when such descriptions are found in which literature shrimad bhagavatam viraktesu they become detached and they do not want to listen to it an upayogitvad ayogyatvad these people become unfit unqualified and this rasa is not meant for them so i hope you are able to understand it's not determined by the color of the cloth but by the mindset of a person we can have a most rasik sanyasi like shri prabodhananda saraswati who wrote sangeet madhav and yet we can have a most arasik grihastha like before meeting chaitanya mahaprabhu sarvabham bhattacharya dear devotees it is the mindset of the devotee this is the translation prabhu kindly read among those who are detached there are individual who think of all madhurya ras as being similar to mundane romance thus such individual stay away from madhurya ras even if it is given in the bhagavatam such renunciates are ine- ineligible and this rasa is not suitable for them dear devotees why do we want to become a brahmachari whether we are in grihastha ashram or we are in brahmachari ashram or sanyas ashram everybody is expected to live like a brahmachari why do we want to be a brahmachari this is the question that we need to ask ourselves and what is our definition of brahmacharya i am sitting here in a replica of the precincts of shri shri radha damodar mandir and behind me there is a personality who will hit me with a stick if i say anything wrong <laughs> you know which personality that is who is he see you identified ha huh? the image is already there in your minds of shri bhakti sidhan saraswati thakur i have to be very careful rupa anuga viruddha apasiddhant dhvant harine he will ask me to leave the assembly if i speak anything incorrect let me speak what he himself has said dear devotees Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur wrote an article named The Killing of Vatsasura. Vatsasura as a demon was a calf there in four or five verses very quickly the Bhagavatam describes how the calf came mixed with the other calves Krishna identified the calf only Krishna identified nobody else Krishna killed the calf and that's it Now the leela appears plain vanilla because it goes it it gets over in four verses There is an adhyatmik purport there is a purport which is relevant for the personal life of the sadhaka vatsasur represents that desire for lust desire for mingling with the opposite gender that is present in a new sadhaka shila bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur says the neophyte is extremely susceptible to such evils they cannot be got rid of except by the mercy of krishna This is exactly in line with what Sri Rupa Goswami was saying yesterday. Kasha yana, not by wearing saffron cloth, not by staying in the forest, not by hearing lectures on how to be a strict brahmachari in twenty-four hours. You know, not like that. Only Krishna was able to identify Vatsasur. Nobody else. Therefore, it is impossible for us. to identify the root of the desire for lust within our hearts and therefore only krishna is the one who can remove this desire shila bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur says the scripture say it is not in the power of man to ensure the immunity of boys and girls from the blight of precocious sensuousness which means from falling into 
sensuousness except by the means of the service to krishna there is only one way the way that rupa goswami recommended yesterday in padyavali govindasya padaravind bhajana rambhasya leshadapi even by a small fragment of the beginning of any genuine attachment to the lotus feet of shri govind this is declared to be the only effective and natural method the devotees one shri bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur in his college he made a group of individuals hmm? and they all took a vow we will all remain celibate and you know we will all dedicate ourselves to shri chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, only one person survived in the group who was it shri bhakti siddhant saraswati all others changed ashram so this is because shri bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur understands what is the spirit the crux of brahmacharya he says you know in this world there is the puritanic ideal of godhead he is referring to the western world especially the churches which had become prominent in india by that time and they had bought this puritanic ideal of godhead that you know you should serve god by remaining a celibate in the service of god and you know the church used to say in the service of christ you dedicate yourself men and women the women get married to christ and then you know that is how they live their lives of celibacy and then and then at the end of it when you attain christ's favor you go to heaven and then you stay there happily ever after that is the philosophy in a short paragraph and this philosophy says is by persons who are elderly enough although honestly enough anxious what is their anxiety to establish kingdom of godhead on earth because there is a prayer our lord thou art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come as, as far i remember i was taught once huh? on earth as it is in heaven so that, so they are eager to establish kingdom of godhead on earth but if you scratch the thin coating on the surface of their sage and sober scheme dig deeper you will only detect the rotten arrangement for securing the maximum of sense enjoyment because after living a life of celibacy and serving god and then you know becoming a priest or a nun or a brahmachari or then then you what is the end result that you want to achieve heaven and what do you do after you go to heaven enjoy so in the end it is a business transaction dear devotees and this business transaction is found in all forms of religion even in vedic religion or christianity or all forms of religion you will find some sort of business transaction this is what is rejected in the second verse of the shrimad bhagavatam even the transaction of seeking moksha liberation in exchange for my spiritual practices shri bhakti sidan saraswati thakur says the spurious brahmacharya ideal there is a spurious does anybody know what is the meaning of spurious we have to have we, we should we need a dictionary <laughs> huh no no spurious means duplicate which is not the original cheap imitation is known as spurious you have spurious medicine in the market which is like imitation of actual medicine but doesn't do anything so the spurious brahmacharya ideal as misconceived by its worldly supporters embodies this puritanic outlook so everybody should be a brahmachari why so that you can control your senses why because you will become a better devotee why then you will be able to achieve krishna's favor and then you will go back home back to godhead and then you will be happy ever after <coughs> spurious brahmacharya where is the question of krishna's service in all of this where is the question of prema in all of this this brahmacharya is spurious do not accept this as genuine brahmacharya shri <coughs> bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur says the scriptures enjoin that every one should serve godhead from the womb dear devotees all of us are brahmacharis from the womb we were born brahmacharis in the womb there is one activity that the living entity does it is described in the third canto of shrimad bhagavatam what does the living entity do in the womb praise to shri krishna what is the meaning of brahmachari brahma charati iti brahmachari one who dwells in the absolute truth 
always is known as whom? Brahmachari. In the womb, we dwelled in the absolute truth. Brahmacharya is our birth qualification, dear devotees. We don't have to acquire it from outside. Brahmacharya has come to us by birth. Irrespective of where, which part of the world you are born. The ascetic dreams of obtaining mastery over nature by the method of controlling his senses. There is no reference to the service of Godhead or to any spiritual issue. So when people try to artificially control their senses, there is nothing about service of Bhagwan involved in all of this. Nothing. There is no question of prema in all of this. Then he makes a very striking statement. Dear devotees, please repeat after me. Not this. Huh. I'll say some, after some time. He says, we have had many occasions to explain that the spiritual is transcendental. No mundane consideration can form any part of spiritual training or conduct. Please repeat after me. It is not, it is not a, spiritual a spiritual affair to be even able to control, even able to control one's, carnal desires. one's carnal desires. Spiritual progress is not established by showing that I have controlled my desires. It is not a spiritual affair. It is a purely mundane affair if it is devoid of service of Sri Krishna. This is what he says. Such self-control itself is indeed automatically produced by the awakening of the soul, dear devotees. This is the Gaudiya Vaishnava Brahmacharya that we all believe in. This is why Sri Rai Ramananda, even though he was performing so many dramas and he was involved with so many ladies who acted in the dramas, he was considered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as a pure Brahmachari. And this is why the Brahmachari who was wearing saffron cloth and drinking only one glass of milk every day was rejected by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from his Kirtan pastimes in Srivasangan. Our definition of Brahmacharya is very radical and different from the traditional ascetic definition of Brahmacharya that has been found in the world. Dear devotees, this is the brahmachari that we all aspire to be. Now, let's come to Krishna. Our Sri Krishna is remembering and is suffering because of Padma Niti, dear devotees. In Dwaraka, he cannot find anybody who is not like Padma. You know, yesterday we discussed what is Padmaniti. We will give this to Krishna, Krishna will be happy. We will give that to Nanda Maharaj, Krishna will be happy. And then we will pay back the favor and then Krishna will let us keep our kingdom, our Godhead, our Dwarka will be ours. And Krishna will not give it to the Vrajavasis. Krishna remembers at this point of time that Dwarka is not exactly his abode of personal happiness. The verse in Srimad Bhagavatam at this point of time is very significant. Vrindavanam Govardhanam Yamuna Pulinanicha Viksha Siduttama Pritir Rama Madhava Yornripa Shukadev Goswami says to Parikshit Maharaj, Nripa, O King, Viksha Asid, when Krishna saw in his childhood three places, three entities, the three greatest devotees, what are the three greatest devotees? Vrindavanam, Vrinda Devi, Govardhanam, Yamuna, Pulinani, and the banks of the Yamuna. Uttama Priti. Krishna developed the greatest sense of attraction towards these places. This is his playground where Krishna can wear comfort clothing, where Krishna can play the flute, where Krishna can relax without worrying about a kingdom to handle. There are many wealthy people in Dwarka. What is the use? Some of them dislike Krishna. Example is Satrajit. 
he was a smaller king in dwarka he worshiped surya and got samantak jewel and he was always against krishna because he thought krishna wants to take this away from me and his agents were always plotting something against krishna and this is the environment that krishna was staying in dwarka in vrindavan there is nobody like this it is god's personal playground he enjoys playing here he'll wear comfort clothing he'll play the flute and he doesn't have to wear heavy jewelry this is the translation o king parikshit when balaram and krishna saw vrindavan govardhan and the banks of the river yamuna they both enjoyed great pleasure yamuna is very special her color is dark blue still she has transparency in her waters so you can see the surface shri jiva goswami says in gopal champu in your hearts just look at that yamuna that crystal blue river of clarity flowing in shri vrindavan and above yamuna there are birds flying these birds cast a shadow on yamuna on the banks of the yamuna there are trees whose flowers and fruits cast a shadow on yamuna in this way yamuna appears like a beautiful long blue colored sari with many birds flowers and fruits engraved upon her and this is the sari that is draping vrinda devi shri vrindavan which is the brilliant tilak the brilliant head mark on the surface of this planet and what to speak of govardhan he is declared by the gopis as haridas varya the greatest servant of shri krishna remembering all these dear devotees shri krishna remembered his favorite pastime that took place in vraja that was the arrangement of the dance of rasa now shri krishna is so attracted to this pastime that he doesn't only organize it on one particular night there are four types of rasa dances organized in shri vrindavan i will give the names of all of these four with the exact references in shastra where their mention is to be found dear devotees the first type of rasa mentioned by the previous acharyas please repeat after me nitya rasa leela nitya rasa leela this is which that which goes on eternally every night in the spiritual world as well as in a hidden way in this world in shri vrindavan because the, the vrindavan of this world is a replica of the vrindavan in the spiritual world bhauma vrindavan the praman is given in padma puran nityam rasa mahotsavam this festival of ras is nityam it is eternally going on dear devotees the second is please repeat after me sharadiya ras sharadiya ras sharad is autumn sharad purnima is the full moon night of the autumn season this is the rasa leela described in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam if you see the first few verses it says sharad utphulla mallika it was the night of sharad season when krishna organized this particular rasa dance so this is known as sharadiya ras krishna disappears from the vision of the gopis in this ras and you can see it in the 10th canto the third please repeat after me haimantika ras haimantika ras or kartik ras This is also known as Shri Krishna Rasa Yatra. You can see it on the Vaishnav calendar. This takes place on the Purnima, full moon of Kartik Mas. It is mentioned in Shri Krishna Chaitanya Charitamrita of Shri Murari Gupta and various other literature. And final Ras, dear devotees, took place on Holi, dear devotees. This is known as. Please repeat after me. Vasanti Ras. So in the spring season on the day of Holi Shri Baldev also enjoys ras and in this rasa leela Krishna disappears from the vision of no go, Rashi Radha disappears from his vision and she steals his flute dear devotees this is the past time that is described in Ananda Vrindavan Champu So these are the four types of 
Rasalila that are mentioned by our previous acharyas. How many of these types are possible in Dwarka? Three, two, one, zero. Dear devotees, Krishna remembers. In the beginning of the Rasa dance, Krishna used his favorite instrument to attract the mind of the gopis. Which instrument was it, dear devotees? Flute. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri Shukadev Goswami says, Jagau kalam vam drisham manoharam. Jagau, he played kalam a very sweet tune. Manoharam, which snatched away the minds of vam drisham, of very beautiful eyed ladies. This is the translation, Prabhu. Krishna played a sweet tune on the flute that attracted the minds of the beautiful eyed gopis. Dear devotees, behind everything that Krishna does, there is deep reasoning. There is a very sweet commentator on the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, the personal favorite of my revered spiritual master. This commentator is named Sri Hari Suri and he has found hidden reasons for everything that Sri Krishna has done in the 10th canto. The devotees, there is a reason why Sri Krishna is snatching away the minds of the gopis. Would you like to hear from this commentator the reason why Krishna snatched away the minds of the gopis? Yes. Sri Hari Suri says, Krishna is aware there are many people in this world who consider Rasalila to be material. Many people in this world. So Krishna has done something, dear devotees. Sri Hari Suri composes a verse in a difficult meter Arya. He's an expert poet. I'll try to sing it. Somehow I'll try. Please repeat after me. Mabhuda Samanurapi. Mabhuda Samanurapi. Mabhuda Samanurapi. Adharma Samsparsha Ityanantatma. Adharma Samsparsha Ityanantatma. Adharma Samsparsha Ityanantatma. Adharma Samsparsha Ityanantatma. Sukrita Sukrita Nidanam. Sukrita 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 Nidanam Sukrita Sukrita Nidanam Mana Evadav Jahar Sadgitya Mana Evadav Jahar Sadgitya Mana Evadav Jahar Sadgitya Shri Suri says there are many materialists in the world, many over renunciates who think the gopis committed adharma. You know, what is the meaning of adharma? Irreligiosity. By executing these pastimes with Sri Krishna. They say gopis have adharma samsparsha. They have been touched by adharma. Therefore, don't listen to these pastimes. Otherwise, you will fall into the material world. Sri Krishna is thinking. And Sri Harisuri brings out Krishna's mind. Ma bhu rasam anurapi. Let there not be even a tiny atomic fraction of adharma samsparsha, of any touch of adharma to these gopis. Let nobody put this allegation. Iti anantatma. Therefore, our unlimited Lord who understands the unlimited minds of these materialists and over renunciates, he first did something. Sukrita Sukrita Nidanam. Dear devotees, all sinful activities in the world are committed by the material senses. And who is controlling the material senses, dear devotees? Which sense organ controls all the senses? Therefore, Krishna first snatched away the mind. So that there is no possibility ever 
that the gopis will ever be touched by any trace of adharma according to the opinion of the so called materialists this is the hidden reason why krishna snatched away the minds of the gopis please read prabhu let there be not let there be not be the slightest touch of impiety for these gopis thinking in this way the lord unlimited living entities used his flute playing to steal away the minds the root cause of all <coughs> piety and impiety in this world so dear devotees the bhagavatam itself says manoharam krishna snatched away the mind and this is the reason why there is no trace of materialism in these past times Krishna's body is not made out of the seven material elements skin flesh blood fat bone marrow and semen these are the seven material elements that make up a material body Krishna's body is not made out of these and neither is the gopi's body made out of this Krishna sada brahmachari Gopal Tapani Upanishad Krishna is an eternal brahmachari the eternal brahmachari has invited the eternal brahmacharinis dear devotees what is the meaning of brahmacharya always dwell in the absolute truth man mana bhav mad bhakto mad yaji mam namaskuru this is brahmacharya dear devotees krishna was playing on the flute and the gopis saw that he is not stopping Gopi has become a little jealous of the flute. <laughs> little jealous. Enough playing on the flute now. We are waiting. At this point of time, the gopis are waiting in front of Sri Krishna as he is playing on the flute, and he is close. He has closed his eyes as if he doesn't know who has come. The devotees, eh? as if he doesn't know who has come near him the gopis are scratching the ground with their toenails waiting for him to stop playing the flute what is going on in their minds the same commentator brings out the feelings of the gopis that is going on in their minds at this point of time sri hari suri he composes a verse in the meter shardula vikriditam same as shad goswami ashtakam Let's sing together, dear devotees. Saudham dham mukham bujam bhagavato vaktra sava prashanam shaya chadhar pallavotham ridula gushthas tadu chirshakam angulya sava sevane niralasa ब्रूमह कि मन्यत सुखम हा हा वैरिणी हे तथा पि मुरली त्वाम नैति निद्रा पि किम द गोपीज आर सेइंग टू द फ्लूट सौधम धाम मुखम भुजम ओ फ्लूट ओ मुरली योर गुड फॉर्च्यून इज अनलिमिटेड for your residence dham you have a very nice palace to stay what is your abode saudham dham is lotus like face is your abode that is where you are resting right now and what do you have for eating bhagavato vaktra sava prashanam you are getting the direct remnants from the mouth of shri bhagwan he has just chewed upon a pan and the remnants of his mouth are coming out and you are tasting that as you are prasad what comfortable situation murli shaya chadhar pallav for your relaxing your bed is his lower lip that is where you are resting right now what a soft bed you got and not only while you are resting mrudulangushthastadu chirshakam 
there is another side of the bed which has a pillow to give rest to your legs and that is his thumb you know very few people have this luxury of having pillows on both sides <laughs> So you have a pillow on your feet and you have a pillow on your head. The pillow on your head is his lower lip and the pillow on your feet is his soft thumb. What more do you want, Murli? Angulias, anguli. Anguli is finger. It is feminine gender term. Angulias, various finger like ladies are pressing your feet at this point of time. Isn't it so, dear devotees? Can you see the expertise of the poet? Hmm? The expertise that he has brought out, the mood of the gopis that has been brought out. Sevane niralasa, without any alas, without any laziness, these lady fingers you know, are serving your feet. Kim anyat sukham, what more happiness do you need? Ha ha vairini, O enemy. Tathapi Murli, oh fluid, Tvam Naiti Nidra Pikim, why don't you sleep now? Huh? <laughs> Still making a sound after all these comforts. <laughs> these dear devotees are the expressions that went on within the heart of the gopis. This particular commentator had a darshan of Krishna before he put his pen to paper. It's only after the blessings of Sri Krishna that he decided to compose something. So there's only one composition, his commentary on the 10th canto of the Bhagavatam. And this is the translation. O Murali, flute, for your residence, you have lotus-like face of Krishna. For your drinking, you have his lip nectar. His lower lip is your wrestling bed. His soft thumbs are your raised pillows. Various fingers, ladies, are engaged in pressing your feet. What greater happiness can be there? Alas, O oh flute, despite all these comforts, why don't you ever go to sleep? At this point of time, Shri Krishna suddenly opens his eyes and notices. Are? Huh? Somebody has come. <laughs> Hare, welcome, welcome. Huh? Hare, I, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, why are you here in the middle of the night? Because you called us. No, no, I didn't call you. Rajani Esha Ghora, very dark night, not a suitable place to stay. Krishna says in the Bhagavatam, please repeat after me. Rajani Esha Ghora Rupa, Ghora Sattva Nishevita, Pratiyata Vrajam Neha, Stheyam Sthribi Sumadhyama, Rajani Esha Ghor Rupa, this night is quite frightening. Ghor Sattva Nishevitan, many frightening creatures are lurking around. Pratiyata, Vrajam, return to your homes. Nehastheyam Stribi Sumadhyama, this is not a place for slender wasted ladies. Dear gopis, return back. Dear devotees, ideally at this point, a gali is needed. <laughs> I was thinking I will quote some Gaudiya Vaishnava commentator at this point of time, but you see the Gaudiya Vaishnavas are very sweet. You know? <laughs> Where are the sweetest sweets found in the entirety of India? Gaudiya, Gaudesh. And where are the sweetest Vaishnavas to be found in the entirety of India? Godius. So there is a lot of sweetness, dear devotees. For tackling this person, 
you need somebody from the western part of india <laughs> because see i am from the western part of india <laughs> we westerners know how to tackle this person <laughs> Suri Hari Suri at that point of time says, "Acha." Huh? <laughs> he then takes sides with the gopis and responds on their behalf. This verse is in the meter Shardul Vikriditam Seema Shad Goswami Ashtakam. Let's sing together. Asma to sulabham yadadadi payo pyaasi taday tyalayam. भूत्वा दैन्य मुख सखे मुहुरहो तत्थनाचर सर्वस्वाणमद्य कल्पितमपी तम नृहणासीता युक्त प्रीतिरलब्ध वस्तु निपुनर्लब्धे तनास्थो दया asmat to asulabham acha in your childhood when it was very difficult for you very rare to obtain dadhi payo what is dadhi payo milk and yogurt ha huh? tadaiti alayam then you used to come to our home begging right ha bhutva dainya mukham with a humble face please ha <laughs> See, this is the treatment he deserves, dear devotee. Sakhe, oh friend, muhura ho tat prarthana with folded hands. You used to come to our homes. Oh, I don't like anything cooked by my mother. <laughs> Remember, sarva swarpana madhya. Today we are voluntarily giving you everything. Our entire existence, we are willing to surrender to you. कल्पितम अपी इवन दो वी आर रेडी तम नईव गृहणासी बट यू आर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग टूडे कृष्णा युक्तम वी अंडरस्टैंड नाउ हाउ द वर्ल्ड वर्क्स प्रीतिरलब्ध वस्तु पीपल ओनली लाइक दोज थिंग्स विच आर अटेन्ड विथ ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी पुनर्लब्धे एंड वेन दे अटेन इट इजीली अनास्थ हो दे दे रिजेक्ट इजीली अवेलेबल थिंग्स इज एंड इट सो कृष्ण Krishna remember tomorrow you will have to cry today it is easily available krishna tomorrow you will cry for this this is the translation dear friend krishna when <coughs> yogurt milk etc were not easily available to you at your home you would make a pitiful face and come asking for it at our homes it seems that those days are long gone today when we wish to offer you our entirety you are not accepting our offer indeed we realize today that is the nature of humans to have extreme attachment to objects that are not easily available whereas If the same objects become easily available, then one quickly develops disrespect towards them. He doesn't stop here. There is another sarcastic verse coming, dear devotees. The commentator now composes a brilliant sarcastic shikharini for our Sri Krishna to drink. This verse is in the meter shikharini. I'll sing. Please repeat after me. शिस्याधा व्रजत पुनर्तुक्तिमिहते व्रजाम स्व गेहम स्वति सरलागति का
पदम ते प्राप्ता तया श्रुत्या क्वेद सदय वद गंत व्यमधुना Krishna, you are asking us to go away. If that is what makes you happy, all right, Krishna. We have left our homes and our family knows that we have left them. They are not going to accept us back easily. But since you are saying, Shirasyadhayaiva, we take your order and put it on our head. What is your order? Vrajata Punar, go back to your samsara, your homes. Go back to your family, your samsara, your griha, your samsara. Iti Uktim, this is what you want from us. Sure. Vrajama Swam Geham, we will go back to our samsara, our homes. Why? Ati Sarala, we were fools to believe you, actually very simple hearted ananya gatika we had nobody except for you we actually love nobody except for you today we are going back to our home to our samsar remember krishna padam te praptanam bhuvina punaravritti riti yataya shrutya kveta krishna we have been told by gargamuni that you are a magic divine personality. Tell your wives. Today we gopis are going back to our samsar, our homes. Tell your wives. Today they will not be able to go back to their homes. So the meaning is not clear, dear devotees. What are they intending to say? Gargamuni knows about the supremacy of Krishna and they might have heard from Gargamuni that he is the all-powerful personality and the Shrutis, the four wives are his four Vedas are his four wives. So tell your wives, the four Vedas, today they should not be able to go back to their home. Why? Because the Shrutis used to say, loudly proclaim, anybody who comes and surrenders exclusively to Krishna does not have to return back to samsar, material world, ever again. Dear Krishna, we surrender to you today. Ideally, we should not have to go back to samsar. There are two meanings. One meaning is material world, another meaning is home. Ideally, we should not have to go back to samsar. But you yourself are sending us back to our samsar. You violated your own condition given in the Vedas. Tell these wives of yours, these Shrutis, they should not go back to their homes. Why? Because these four Vedas stay on the planet of Lord Brahma along with Lord Brahma. What is the name of the planet of Lord Brahma? Satya Lok. What is the meaning of Satya? And anybody who speaks lies should never be allowed into Satya Lok, <coughs> dear devotees. Tell your wives, today they will not be able to go back to their homes. Much better than Gali, dear devotees. <laughs> this is the translation. Oh Lord, you say to us, return back to your samsar homes. We are simple-hearted ladies and we respectfully keep this order of yours on our heads. Today we will go back to our samsar homes, for we have no other refuge besides following your orders. Tell us, however, O Lord, your wives, the Shrutis, 
proudly proclaim that one who surrenders unto you will never have to return back to samsara, material world, over again. O oh Lord, will these shruttis be able to go back to their homes today? Dear devotees, when Krishna was given such sarcastic words, then Krishna said, oh, all right, all right, hmm? I accept. <laughs> He cannot try this with any queen in Dwaraka. It is not possible. Let's say Krishna is taking rest in his, you know, private inner chambers in his bedroom and suddenly a queen comes and he says, why have you come here? Please go back. Go back where? This is my home. Where's, huh? <laughs> to whom does the home belong? To the husband or the wife? The wife. Na griham griham ityahur grihini griham uchyate. I decorated this entire place. Who, who are you to tell me go? <laughs> so it's only with these gopis that he tried all these things. This cruelty was only exhibited towards the gopis. But then Krishna finally agreed. All right, if you want. <laughs> if you want, we will perform, you know, a wonderful dance. This Rasa dance is captured in a very nice verse, dear devotees, by a Gaudiya Vaishnava whose name is not very well known. His name is Sri Anup Narayan Bhattacharya. He wrote a very rare literature named Amod Mahakavyam, Sanskrit literature. I was able to find one copy of it in Vrindavan and when I laid my hands on it, I made sure that it gets digitized so that you know, in future somebody, it has many mistakes, the, any, the devotee who digitized it, who printed it, made quite a few mistakes while printing it, but still whatever I, I could get my hands on. So he's from the family of, as far as I know, Sri Gadadhar Bhatta. And uh, in his Amod Mahakavyam, he composes a verse which describes how the dance went about. Dear devotees, he wants you to listen to the sound of the Rasalila. Do you hear the sound? Do you want to hear the sound? Yes. So, I'll sing the verse, please repeat after me. Abhuvanatraya manasaranjam Abhuvanatraya manasaranjam Prattamudunnati nirjita janjam Tajagrhur harinupura shinjam Abhuvanatraya manasaranjam the gopis heard the sound which is Manas Ranjam, which takes over the minds of the three worlds, which delights their minds of the three worlds. Prattamod, which is a very joyous sound. Unnati Nirjita Janjam. This sound gradually increased and took over the sound of the gopis' own ankle bells. Ta Jagruhur, the gopis heard the sound. Dear devotees, are you hearing the sound? Do you want to hear the sound? Yes. Please sing once again. Let's see if we can hear it. Abhuvanatraya manasaranjam Prattamudunnati nirjita janjam Tajagruhur arinupura shinjam Jum 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 So the sound of Hari's sash of bells took over the sound of the gopi's ankle bells. And what was the sound of Hari's sash of bells like, dear devotees? Jum, 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 jum. This, dear devotees, is Sri Anup Narayan Bhattacharya's expertise in Sanskrit poetry. Please read. The gopis heard the sound which delights the minds of the three worlds, which gave them great joy and which gradually took over the tinkling of their ankle bells. This was the sound of Hari's ankle bells. Jum, 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 jum. Hari, translate that part, Prabhu. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that part is untranslatable, dear devotees. You relish it in the original. <laughs> dear devotees, Sri Hari Suri says, what a wonderful pastime. What a wonderful pastime, dear devotees. Sri Krishna is dancing with all the gopis. Everyone and everything got liberated. Please repeat after me. Kesha Mukta Guno Mukto Kesha Mukta Guno Mukto Nadbhutam Suratotsave Nadbhutam Suratotsave Chitram Mukta Punar Mukta Chitram Mukta Punar Mukta Mukta Sumana Sopicha In this Ras festival, Kesha Mukta, dear devotees, what is the meaning of Kesha? Yes, were liberated. Guna Mukta, what is the meaning of Gunas, dear devotees? The strings of their clothes were liberated. Nad Bhutam, nothing surprising about it, dear devotees, nothing surprising. But Chitram, what surprises me? Mukta Punar Mukta, even the Muktas, the tightly strung pearls also got liberated, dear devotees. Mukta, Sumana, Sopicha, and even the tightly strung flowers also got liberated. Sri Hari Suri is from the western part of India, dear devotee. He is not a simple poet. Let's hear him again. Kesha Mukta Guno Mukto Nadbutam Suratotsave Chitram Mukta Punar Mukta Mukta Sumana Sopicha Kesha Ka Isha Ka refers to Brahma, Isha refers to Shiva Kesha Mukta On seeing the Rasilila Two deities got liberated. Which are the two deities? Ka and Isha. Kesha. Guna Mukta. Even the modes of the material natures felt liberated. Nad Bhutam. Nothing surprises me about it. What surprises me? Mukta Api Mukta. Even those who are considering themselves as liberated, they felt liberated. <laughs> those impersonalists who were running after the impersonal Brahman, they finally found their liberation in this particular pastime. And Mukta Sumana Sopicha, even the Su Manasa, Su Manas means flower, Su Manas means those who have a beautiful mind, the devotees, they also felt fully liberated in this, dear devotees. Every word he has put a double meaning upon it, dear devotees. <laughs> this is the liberating potency of the Rasa pastime. Mukta Api Mukta, dear devotees. Those who are falsely considering themselves liberated, they will attain true liberation. Those who are falsely thinking of themselves as brahmacharis, they will attain true brahmacharya, dear devotees, after seeing this pastime. Sri Krishna remembers all of this in Dwaraka. And he thinks, what can I do to go there? And there is nothing that can be done, dear devotees, to return to Vraja. Jarasand will come to know that this person has some weak spot in Vrindavan and he may attack. There is nothing that can be done. Other kings who are envious of him, Rukmi, etc., they will come to know, they will attack Vrindavan. Krishna does not want to harm even a tiny hair on the body of any of the Vrajavasis, dear devotees. It is not possible for him to return to Vraja at this point of time. What is the mood of Sri Radha at this point of time? We will come to Sri Rupa Goswami, who in the Padyavali, in a very beautiful verse, it's not the Padyavali, so it's 
in his writings in the ujjwal nilmani shri rupa goswami mentions what is her mood this verse is in the meter malini and uh, no, not malini manda kranta i'll sing the verse please repeat after me स्यान्न सौख्यम यदपि बलवद कोष्ठमाप्ते मुकुंदे यद्यल्पापी क्षतिदय ते तस्गा अप्रास्दि नगरादारतिरुग्रा भवेन्न सौख्यम तस्फुति हृदय चेत वास सैन्न सौख्यम yadapi balavad although we will have the greatest happiness we gopis especially myself shri radha is saying if koshtham apte mukunde if mukunda comes back to shri vrindavan but yadi alpapi kshatir udayate if there is a tiny bit of ill reputation that will come to him because of associating with us cowherds tasya magat kadapi let him never come back to vraja let him never come back to vraja aprapte smin and if he ne never comes back yadapi nagarat from that dwarka nagar arti rugra we will have the greatest pain of our lives but still saukhyam tasya spurati hridi ched if it makes him happy to stay there तत्र वासम करो तू लेट हिम ऑलवेज स्टे इन द्वारका वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट हिम टू रिटर्न टू वृंदावन दिस इज द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द वर्स इवन दो इट विल बी आवर हाइस्ट प्लेजर इफ मुकुंदा कम्स बैक टू ब्राउच स्टिल इफ इट कॉजेस हिम इवन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिस्कंफर्ट देन लेट हिम नेवर कम हियर and even though his not coming to brush is the most severe distress of our lives but if it makes him happy then let him stay there so krishna cannot go there they don't want him to come there if it goes against his interests and they cannot come to dwarka why can they not come to dwarka Yes. This was his promise in the Yeah. He promised he will return. And let's say forget about the promises if they go to Dwarka. What will they say? Who will entertain villagers in that city? You know how the soldiers treat villagers. it is not possible some of you might be knowing how difficult it was for the villager sudama to get access to shri krishna how will we villagers go there and be entertained and we have the claim that krishna is the first love of our lives will krishna acknowledge us in front of everybody it is not possible <coughs> dear devotees after some time there occurred a particular event which caused the meeting of the vrajavasis with krishna after a gap of more than 70 years this was the battle of <coughs> kurukshetra and it is mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam that when the war of kurukshetra was about to begin 
there was a solar eclipse and usually eclipses are considered as inauspicious but there are many shastras which also proclaim that solar eclipses are auspicious in ho some holy places so in kurukshetra there are five lakes which you can take a dip in around the time of the solar eclipse and you can achieve liberation so all the soldiers took a dip everybody took a dip during that time on the pretext of taking a dip in that punch another in that five in those five lakes the vrajavasis also came dear devotees to kurukshetra a group of villagers has come amongst an army of royal kings all of whom are laden with gold silver valuables jewels and weapons all these kings and the vrajavasis who have nothing in comparison to them in terms of wealth have come there dear devotees they have a relatively poor tent constructed for them outside kurukshetra where the vrajavasis are staying shri krishna cannot invite them to his royal tent dear devotees shri krishna finds a moment and goes to meet them in that particular tent of the vrajavasis the soldiers come inside all the villagers are put on one side dear devotees how do the villagers sit they sit on the floor dear devotees the villagers sit on the floor and our maharaj of dwaraka comes inside the tent and at this point he looks at nanda maharaj and mother yashoda who have lost a lot of their bodily features because of not eating krishna meets Ma nanda maharaj mother yashoda and krishna cries in front of them and then he is asking everybody in general is everybody okay krishna's eyes are searching for the eyes of one particular individual who is that the soldiers are watching krishna's every move krishna sees dear devotees at this point of time amongst all the gopis he happens to notice that particular gopi who is sitting in a corner with her head bowed down and she is not saying anything she is not looking into the eyes of krishna she has her veil partially over her head because she cannot look directly towards krishna in front of her elders she is married now to somebody else in this way she is crying at this point of time shri krishna tells his soldiers please go out on some pretext he also sends his family other members for eating food and then only in the tent there are the gopis and shri krishna and in front of shrimati radharani our shri krishna starts begging forgiveness at this point of time shri radha says something to him which is mentioned in shri rupa goswami's writings this is the verse this verse is in the meter manda kranta i'll sing please repeat after me kim padante luthasi be mana swami no hi swatantra कंचित कालम क्वचिदभिरत तत्र कस्ते पराध कंचित 
आगस्कारण्यहमिह यया जीवित तद्वियोगे भ्रातृप्राणास्त्रिय ननु मईवाने किम पादान्ते लुठे सी कृष्ण वाई आर यू फॉलोइंग एट माई फीट विमना विमना मीन्स इन हिंदी भी से पागल यू नो ओ फूल यू नो बट इट्स नॉट इट्स अ वेरी जेंटल वे ऑफ सेंग यू नो पागल वाई यू फायर फॉलोइंग एट माई फीट स्वामी नो ही सच स्वतंत्र डोंट यू नो ग्रेट महाराजर्स एंड किंग्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट पीपल they have the freedom to do anything i know kanchit kalam kwachit abhirastas in the past for some time you became attached to me for some time tatra kaste aparadha what is your fault in this you have absolutely no fault in all of this agas karini aham i am the one who is at fault here इह यया जीवित तद्वियोगे दैट आई स्टेड अलाइव इवन आफ्टर गेटिंग सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम यू दैट इज माई फॉल्ट आई टेक इट अपॉन मी दैट आई स्टेड अलाइव भ्रातृ प्राणा यू नो देर आर ग्रेट लेडीज इन द पास्ट हू डाइड आफ्टर सेपरेशन फ्रॉम देअर बिलवेड आई एम नॉट लाइक दैट i am most unfortunate i stayed alive after separation from you it would have been very nice krishna if you would have heard the news of my death after you left but i am most unfortunate and it is my fault maybe i did not have enough love for you to keep you back in vrindavan na tvam mamai vanu nay don't apologize to me krishna at this point of time the devotee is at this point of time she is still looking down and crying and this is what is the translation of the verse dear lord why do you fall at my feet you should know that those who are great kings and masters are independent to do whatever they want you accidentally happen to fall in love with me for some time where is your fault in that it is actually me who is faulty for i am still alive even after being separated <coughs> from you you are my love and i should have died in your absence but it seems i do not have that love please do not ask for forgiveness from me she is still not looking into krishna's eyes at this point of time dear devotees there is something hidden within her heart dear devotees do you think this is the actual feeling of shrimati radharani because if there is love there has to be some anger you can't give up on your love so easily is there still something within her mind the devotees at this point of time the favorite poet of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri chandi das he composes a song which expresses what was the feeling in the heart of shri radha please sing after me bandhu ki yaar boli bo tore आप 
अपन खाइया पीड़ित करू रहित नारी नु घरे बंधु डियर फ्रेंड की आर बोली बे तोरे व्हाट मोर शुड आई से टू यू नाउ दिस इज द हार्ट ऑफ श्री राधा डियर डिवोटीज दैट श्री चंडीदास बॉट आउट आपन खाइया इट वाज माय मिस्टेक Piriti karinu, I consumed myself by falling in love with you. Rahite narinu ghare, I lost everything behind you. I lost everything behind you at this point of time. What do you want now, Sri Radha? If Sri Krishna asks, Kamana kariya sagare mare ba. साधिव मन रसाधा मरिया है बंद रंदन तोम करीब राधा Kamana kariya. I now desire only one thing. Sagare maribo. I'll go to the ocean and drown myself. After death, sadhi ba. I will die with one last desire. Because it is said that the final desire of a person is fulfilled in their next life. Sadhi ba mane ra sadha. I will fulfill my desire by dying. Maria hai ba. Next time, next life. I will become Nandera Nandana, the son of Nanda Maharaj, Tomara Karibo Radha, and you I will make Radha next time. I will die in the ocean with one final desire, and through this desire I will finally get what I want. After death, I will become Nanda's son, and you, I will make Radha. Chandi Das appeared much before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, dear devotees. Did Chandi Das predict Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Piriti kariya chadiya jai ba. Rahi ba kadam ba tale. Tre banga ya murali puri ba. जखन जाई बजाले एंड व्हेन यू बिकम राधा पीरिति करिया देन आई विल फॉल्सली प्रिटेंड टू बी इन लव विथ यू एंड छाड़िया जाई बस सडनली आई विल लीव यू रही ब कदम ब तले एंड आई विल प्ले द फ्लूट अंडर द ट्री कदम ब ट्री यू विल हियर दैट साउंड ऑफ द फ्लूट त्रिभंग हैया Then you will see a threefold bended form, Murali Puri, which will fill you with the sounds of the flute. Jakhana jai be jale when you go and to fill water on the banks of the Yamuna. So loving you as Krishna, I will disappear at will, and then again I will appear under a kadamba tree. In this way, I'll torture you again and again. In a threefold bending form, I'll play sweet melodies on my flute. Whenever you go to fill water on the Yamuna, so Murali Shuni ya Murachai be. Murali Shuni ya Murachai be. 
सहज कुले रबाला चंडी दास कहे तबे से जानी बो पीरी के मन ज्वाला मुरली सुनिया मूर्छा हई बे हियरिंग माई फ्लूट अगेन एंड अगेन यू विल फॉल अनकॉन्शियस सहज कुलेर बाला देन यू विल हैव दिस टाइम यू विल बी द इनोसेंट माइंडेड गर्ल चंडी दास कहे ओनली देन यू विल नो प्रीति के मन ज्वाला वॉट इट इज टू बर्न इन लव At this point of time, when Sri Radha expresses only within her heart what she wants, at that time there is eye to eye union between Krishna and Sri Mati Radha Rani. And at this point, Sri Krishna develops three unfulfilled desires. श्री राधाया प्रणय महिमा की दृशो वान वॉट इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ द लव ऑफ श्री राधा स्वाद्यो येना अद्भुत मधिर्मा की दृशा वा मदीय वॉट स्वीटनेस द शी एक्सपीरियंस इन माई असोसिएशन सौख्यम चास्या मदनुभवत की दृशो वेति लोभात वॉट इज द जॉय ऑफ दिस लव and therefore dear devotees anybody whose desires are not fulfilled has to appear again in this world dear devotees did krishna appear again to cry yes yes did krishna go through the same emotions of i will drown in the ocean and kill myself did krishna experience fainting by hearing the sound of the flute dear devotees this is the reason why shri chaitanya mahaprabhu favorite poet was shri chandidas chandidas actually spoke and predicted what was about to happen this love was never recognized it got restricted to a private tent in kurukshetra for this dear devotees do you think krishna should pay the price yes or no i am not hearing loudly yes, yes. <laughs> should krishna appear again take another birth and have the mood of shri radha yes, yes. should he have the desire to drown in the ocean yes should he have the desire to faint you know should he faint by hearing that flute and should he feel cheated in the same way yes only then will he understand what it is to burn in love we are not devotees of shri krishna we are not devotees of shri krishna we sided with shrimati radharani in that small tent we are happy in a small tent dear devotees <laughs> we are happy to sit on the floor like villagers our acharya taught us sit on the floor like villagers and we will always side with shrimati radharani we will put her name before his name always dear devotees and we will always spread her glories and we will make sure the entire world knows on the front page of krishna book it will not be rukmini devi 
Who will it be? Sri Ram. And we will distribute it to the entire world. We will make sure the entire world knows who was the first love of Sri Krishna. I should pause at this point of time, but I will not pause without giving gratitude <coughs> to that Acharya who captured all these moods. Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. And therefore, <coughs> it is the duty of every generation to compose something fresh. That is why we call ourselves the movement. So this is a fresh prayer for the glorification of Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada, who was standing as Sri Rupa Manjari right there in Kurukshetra, to whom Sri Radha expressed so many emotions at that particular point of time. And he mercifully bought all of that for us and gave it to us. I will be most ungrateful if I don't pay my respects to Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. This is a newly composed verse, dear devotees, in the meter Shardula Vikriditam. Pakve harsha nirupaneti chatura Paapani karshatya sau Martyarishta kupankti matti chamur nahapati modam sada. Bhaktya pasha nikrintanam rachayati. Shri Tulya Sham Sanja Sa Shri Rupa Kripa Madhya Bhajane Saukhyam Dadatvoja Sa She forcibly snatches away all sins. She repeatedly devours the inauspicious series of mis misfortunes for mortals. She always protects our joy. Through devotion, she quickly causes destruction of material bondage. She is as glorious as Sri Radha herself. May that wonderful lady named Shirupa Kripa, the mercy of Shirupa Goswami, vigorously bestow pleasure in all my acts of devotional service. Shirupa Goswami Prabhupada Ki. Thank you very much, dear devotees. I will not glorify Sri Rupa Goswami in such an easy manner. It's not going to be easy. I am from the western side of India. <laughs> the verse is written there, dear devotees. Here is a wheel. We'll plot the verse on the wheel, dear devotees. The first line is marked in red. It will be plotted from bottom left to top right. Please sing with me. 
पक्वे हर्ष निरूपणे चतुरा सेकेंड लाइन विल बी प्लॉटेड टॉप लेफ्ट टू बॉटम राइट मर्त्यारिष्ट सुपंक्ति मति च मुहुर न पाति मोदम सदा द थर्ड लाइन विल बी प्लॉटेड टॉप टू बॉटम भक्त्या पाशनिकृतन रचयती श्रीतुल्य शंसांजसा इट एंडेड एट बॉटम गो क्लॉकवाइज फ्रॉम बॉटम सा श्री रूप कृपा मदीय भजने सौख्यम ददात्जसा wait wait <laughs> i'm really crooked dear devotees <laughs> there is a hidden signature there dear devotees third syllable and sixth syllable from the wheel we will read first the third syllable follow the arrows अ रि पर्षदम सा रु प क्रे पा पा तु मे दैट मर्सी ऑफ शिल रूप गोस्वामी प्रोटेक्ट दिस मोस्ट इनसिग्निफिकेंट वेस्टर्न डिवोटी डे डिवोटीज थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण once again my sincere thanks to all the devotee especially my gratitude to the entire guru parampara shrila prabhupad because of whom i am in his society i am living here in iskon today because of the mercy of shrila prabhupad and i sincerely pray to shrila prabhupad that whatever mistakes i am i have made in my attempts may he kindly rectify me but always keep me in the association of his near and dear devotees Dear devotees, thank you very much. My sincere thanks to each and every one of you. Thank you, Gora Hari Prabhu, Vijayanti Mata Ji, all the organizers. Thank you also to my dear God brother Premanand Prabhu who kindly drove me here. And thank you to my good family, my dear wife Vasumati Devi and my son. They are tolerating me, you know, for so many years, but they are not giving up on me even after I have made them, you know, go through so much. <laughs> but. Thank you all of you dear devotees for kindly being present here. Shila Prabhupada ki Nitai Gaur Premanande. Thank you so much Hari Prasad Prabhu for coming again and again in Gorokhada. It has been a very brilliant presentation and maybe for all of you who might not know Hari Prasad so well, he has done like very very amazing lectures on Padesham Vita. I think we have around 60 lectures. Yeah, 60. covering all the different verses of, of Upadesham Rita and very very well researched you can find that on YouTube the channel Hari Pasha Prabhu I highly recommend you to have uh, hearing that I'm actually going myself through and I want to go again and it's really very very brilliant and yeah the depth of the presentation was very uh, fantastic journey we still have the chance of having a little more of Hari Parshat's uh, association for the question on Swarg later. And maybe you, some of you might know that Hari Parshat is also advising uh, the ISKCON Shastri Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really a great chance that we can have him here and also that we can ask him questions. And now we will go 
more or less we don't break to the next part. Now we have actually the Sunday Peace program who start. And I want to ask you, did you appreciate the bhajan of Hashem Ananda Prabhu? So he will sing again now. Wow. And I think we really want him to have a very, very peaceful start in his bhajan. And for that, we will need to not start to speak and move and make the huge chaos into the temple room. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for him to start with the bhajan. <laughs> so uh, all of you want to stay, please stay. All of you want to take a break or like this, please move, move outside and then you can talk and do so that the, the program can go on. Okay. So see, and please make sure everyone is back for 30 for the question answer and make sure we have good questions because that's what will make the dynamic of this program relevant. Mm. It should be here at 4.30. Okay. Mm. No, no question. Okay, uh, before I also want to thank uh, Mother uh, uh, Nikunja Vasini Mataji for, you know, thank you so much Mataji for kindly being here. I'm really very grateful that you came here. You belong here actually, you know, thank you so much for kindly being here. Hare Krishna.